Hello everybody. Today we're looking at 3-6, which is lines in the coordinate plane. So today we're going to be looking at um, graphing parallel and perpendicular lines and determining what parallel and perpendicular lines are and writing their equations. So parallel lines. We've talked about parallel lines. We know that they never intersect. But the key here is that parallel lines have the same slope. Okay. Vertical lines are always parallel. Horizontal lines are always parallel. Okay. Otherwise, every other vertical any non-vertical lines, as long as they have the same slope, that they will be parallel. Perpendicular lines are going to have be perpendicular if the product of their slopes is negative 1, meaning that they are opposite reciprocals. So if I look here, if I have a slope that's A over B, the perpendicular slope is negative B over A. So like if I take, for example, I have a slope of 2 thirds of my original line. Okay, so I'm going to write my slope equals two-thirds. Then my slope perpendicular, so I'm going to write a little perpendicular slope here. I flip the fraction, so three-halves, and I change the sign, so negative three-halves. Okay, so two-thirds and negative three-halves are what we call opposite reciprocals or negative reciprocals. Um, you'll probably hear me use both. Um, and those are your slopes of perpendicular lines. So like I could do a slope of one seventh and a perpendicular slope. And again, I'm just writing a little perpendicular down here so I know that that's a perpendicular slope of negative seven. Because when I flip the fraction for one seventh, it becomes a seven. All right, so any questions on that? Go ahead and write that down. So let's take a look at some examples. Okay, parallel lines. Again, our slopes are going to be the same. All of these equations are in slope intercept form. So it's y equals 5x plus 8 and y equals 5x minus 4. So the key here is that they're going to have this same slope, that m is going to be the same, but their intercepts are going to be different because what happens if they have this same slope and the same y-intercept, that means they're a line that's on top of each other. It's the same line, which we call coinciding lines, okay? So same slope, different y-intercepts give us parallel because that just means they hit the y-axis in a different place. And coinciding lines are going to be the same slope and the same y-intercept. Perpendicular slopes have those opposite reciprocal slopes. And then it doesn't matter whether the um, y-intercepts are the same or not. They could be the same or they could be different. It doesn't matter. But the key thing for perpendicular lines is that their slopes are negative reciprocals. Okay, if they are not the same slope, if the slopes aren't negative reciprocals, there's no specific information here, then the lines just intersect. They don't intersect in a special way. They just intersect somewhere. They're not perpendicular. They're not parallel. They're not anything special. All right, so questions, go ahead and write that down underneath that box. And we're going to look here at classifying whether our lines are parallel, whether they just intersect, or whether they coincide. So the first thing that I'm going to look at here for A is I have the line y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, my slope is 2. Let's look over here. I have y equals 2x plus 1. So my slope is 2. So with both of these, the slope is 2. All right, when I look here for the first one, my y-intercept is 3. Here my y-intercept is going to be negative 1. So my b is 3. Over here my b is negative 1. So let's kind of yeah, so we can tell the difference between the two. Okay so because my slopes are the same and the y-intercepts are different these are parallel lines. Alright let's look over here. Okay, here I am in slope-intercept form, so my slope is 3, and my y-intercept is negative 5. Okay, so my slope is 3, and my y-intercept equals negative 5. Now, for this second one over here, this is not in slope-intercept form, so we need to fix that. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. And I'm going to get negative 2y is equal to negative 6x plus 10. 
Okay, and I always write my x up front because that's the way our notation goes. The next thing that I'm going to do is divide both sides oops, by a negative 2. So I'm going to get y equals, okay, negative 6 over 2 is a positive 3. 10 over 2 is a negative 5. Okay, it's important that you divide everything that is up here by 2. You cannot just divide one number. So now when I look here, I see that my slope is 3. And, oops wrong letter. My slope is 3 and my y-intercept is negative 5. So looking here, negative 5, slope of 3. Okay, now because I have the same slope and the same y-intercept, these lines coincide. Then we're going to do the same thing that we did for the second equation over here. We need to solve each of these equations for y. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I'm going to get 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 7. Here, actually, I'm going to write this over here a little bit farther. So 2y equals negative 3x plus 7. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2. So I'm going to get y equals, now, negative 3 divided by 2 is just negative 3 halves. Please leave things as fractions here. Do not, do not, do not, do not use a decimal, okay? Plus 7 over 2. Okay, so we divide 7 by 2. Your y-intercept, eh, kind of okay. I'd prefer you leave them as a fraction, but it could go decimal. But you need to make sure that your slope is always a fraction. It is either going to be a fraction or a whole number. You have no other options. All right, so when we look at this one, we're going to divide both sides by 3 since y is already almost by itself. And I'm going to get y is equal to 4 divided by 3 is 4 thirds x plus 7 divided by 3 is 7 thirds. Okay, so notice that my slope here is negative 3 halves. My y-intercept is 7 halves. Here, my slope is 4 thirds, and my y-intercept is 7 thirds. Okay, so that means that these lines are just intersecting. They don't have anything special intersecting lines, okay? Their slopes aren't the same. They aren't negative reciprocals, so they just intersect, All right? Questions on that? Go ahead and write them down now. So here we want to look and see if I look at the slopes of my lines when I'm given two points on them, I want to see whether or not my lines are parallel, perpendicular, or none of the above. So I'm going to start with the slope of line A, B. Okay, so I'm going to use the subscript here, A, B, and actually we'll go ahead and just make it line A, B. Okay, so that way I know which one is which when I'm doing these. All right, so I'm going to label A, B as X1, Y1 and x2, y2. So remember that my slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So my y2 is 5 minus my y1, which is 1, over my x2, which is 1, minus my x1, which is 2. So 5 minus 1 is 4, and 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. So this puts my slope at a negative 4. Okay, then I want to do the same thing for the slope of line CD. So I'm going to label CD as x1, y1, because these are the two points that are on this line. Oops. Can't do this as I'm talking. Okay, so this is x2, y2. So again, my slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
And for my C and D, my Y2 is negative 2 minus my Y1, which is 2, over my X2, which is 5, minus my X1, which is 4. So this is going to give me negative 4 over 1, which means my slope is a negative 4. So my slopes are the same, so my lines are parallel. Okay, we are going to repeat that for B. So when I look, I'm doing the slope of line ST. So I'm going to label X1, Y1, X2, Y2. All right, so my slope formula again, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So my Y2 for ST is negative 1 minus y1, which is 2, over x2, which is 5, minus x1, which is a negative 2. So remember, when we subtract a negative, it's the same thing as adding. So I'm going to get negative 3 on the top and 7 on the bottom. So my slope is negative 3 sevenths. Then we're going to do the slope of uv. And again, I'm going to label these points x1, y1 and x2, y2. So once again, my slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And my y2 for my purples for my uv is negative 4 minus 4 over my x2, which is negative 1, minus x1, which is 3. This is going to give me a negative 8 over a negative 4, which is 2. So these slopes do not relate in any way, shape, or form. And so that means it's neither. And we are going to repeat this one more time here for the slope of FG, which again is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And I'm gonna label X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So my Y2 is two minus Y1, which is one over x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is also 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, so I have a slope of 1. All right, we're going to do the same thing here. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. And again, remember, guys, it doesn't matter which point you call 1 and which point you call 2. So when I do the slope of hj, I get y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 2 minus y1, which is 1. x2 is 1 minus x2, which is 2. This is going to be 2 minus 1, which is 1. 1 minus negative 2, or excuse me, 1 minus 2, which is a negative 1. So my slope is a negative 1. These two slopes are opposite reciprocals. If you flip the fraction, you have one over one. If you flip the fraction, it's still one over one. And then we make the second one negative. Another way to check to make sure that they are in opposite reciprocals or negative reciprocals is that they do multiply to be negative one. So these two multiply together to be negative one. So my lines are perpendicular. All right, I got about 30 seconds and two more examples, so I'm going to run out of room. So go ahead and proceed now to part two of our video.